the psychic Sylvia Brown has gone to the other side. By this, I mean she is worm food. Oh my fucking... Collection Anderson of all kinds of tapes that have been made of the 20 minute session that she charges 700 bucks for over the telephone. And invariably, every one of the people who sent me those tapes wanted their money back and were totally dissatisfied with it. Most of the tape consists, first of all, of giving the names of these people's guardian angels. That's not what they're looking for. They're not looking for names of other beings that they were in other dimensions in previous ages, millions of years ago. No, they want information that they have questions, burning questions, to which they want answers. And that's not what she answers for them. She claimed over the years to contact people's loved ones. You got a problem with that? Good. So, if you're easily offended, my advice to you is very, very simple. Go face fuck your priest! And she was very often proven wrong, shown to be less than accurate. She was shown to be a person who uses, well, shall we call it, highly suspect techniques. A person who's raked in huge amounts of money. A person who would charge $700 for a 20 minute reading on the phone for her devotees, her loyalists. And all they would get is cold reading combined with past life knowledge and naming spirit guides and angels. And that was worth 700 US dollars and for the last couple of years perhaps as much as 800 US dollars. But now the woman's dead. After all those facelifts, after all that uh, bullshit she's brought forward over the years, she's finally dead. I imagine James Randi's fairly uh, contented to know that her regime of charlatanism and her fraudulent faith are basically in the grave. And she will basically be forgotten soon enough, replaced by another charlatan, and hopefully her organisation, her little religion of money making, will cease to exist also at some time in the very close future. Because I cannot stand, in all honesty, the use of certain vulnerabilities within people to make a quick buck. And over the years, Sylvia Brown has made not merely millions, tens of millions, some people say much, much more than that. Appearing on TV, selling books, going to do talks, lectures, workshops, CDs, DVDs, special training programs, and it all builds up. Maybe if it wasn't for the Montel Williams show, she wouldn't have become so popular. Maybe if it wasn't for that fact, she would remain a peculiar character forgotten to history. But I think we should remember Sylvia Brown not as a spiritual worker or as a great spiritual person, but instead as what she was. An obvious charlatan. A con artist who throughout the years has conned so many people with her act. And if we can remember what she was like and others like her in the past, we can help people not to be fooled again by the same old tricks. Show's over. I'm gonna hit the bar and knock back a few stiff ones with some buddies. I got a lot of buddies. Fuck you!